Hey everyone! Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating history of machine guns and the notorious Thompson submachine gun, aka the Tommy gun. So buckle up and let's dive into the world of these iconic firearms. First up, let's talk about the Gatling gun, invented by Richard Jordan Gatling in 1862. It was the first widely used weapon of the machine gun type, although it wasn't fully automatic. It featured a rotating barrel that had to be cranked by hand, and it could fire an impressive 1,000 rounds per minute. Later, in 1872, Benjamin Berkeley Hotchkiss improved on the Gatling gun design, but both were soon outshined by the Maxim machine gun in 1883, which was fully automatic. Other early machine guns include John Browning's Browning automatic rifle and an improved version by Isaac Newton Lewis in 1911. By the time of the Boer War in 1899, the effectiveness of machine guns was well demonstrated, and European countries adopted various Maxim, Hotchkiss, and Lewis weapons. However, these guns had their limitations, such as being heavy, needing support, and overheating quickly. Now, let's talk about the famous Thompson submachine gun. Its inventor, John Taliafefo Thompson, was a Kentucky-born army officer who specialized in small arms. He dreamed of creating an automatic rifle, but his ideas were considered radical at the time. Thompson eventually retired from the army and began working for Remington Arms Corporation. In 1916, with the help of financier Thomas Fortune Ryan, Thompson founded the Auto Ordnance Corporation to develop and market his automatic rifle. After some initial failures, Thompson decided to create a small handheld machine gun for offensive assaults. The first workable designs were completed in 1918, but the end of World War I halted production. In 1919, the Thompson submachine gun was unveiled, with Colt manufacturing the first guns in 1921. Though initially intended for military use, the Thompson found its way into the hands of criminals and underground fighters, such as the Irish Republican Army, IRA. It became synonymous with notorious gangsters like Al Capone and was used in infamous events like the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929. During the 1930s, the Tommy gun was associated with gangsters and bank robbers, but by World War IE, it was finally adopted by the U.S. Army. The gun was redesigned and simplified to meet the increased demand. However, by the end of the war, the Thompson was outpaced by cheaper, lighter guns like the British Sten and the American M3. 